can't wait to see you in person again. But until then, we'd like to show you around our newest project, a Solar Plus storage installation in our Custer headquarters. Let's take a look. The plan is to fill up every roof surface with PV modules. On the east plane of the roof, you'll see we have Panasonic 325 watt modules up there. Uh, Panasonic has donated one pallet of those modules for us. Over on the west roof here, you can see we've got some of the 54 Philadelphia solar modules and the 10 Astro Energy 370 watt solar modules that were all donated by the Cleared Solar Foundation. We will be getting even more solar modules to fill up the rest of the roof. These panels will be mounted to the standing seam steel roof of the Renew the Earth Institute using donated racking from Equilibrium Solar, Everest Solar Systems, Snap and Rack, S5, and Unirac. This will result in over 32 kW of solar on the roof, plus an additional 5 kilowatts on pole mounted structures on the campus here. All of the PV we're adding will feed into multiple inverters and storage systems. The first two systems to be donated and installed are the Panasonic Evervolt Solar Plus Storage System, donated by Panasonic, and the Tesla Powerwall and Gateway, donated by Northwind Solar. Here you can see we've revamped the marketplace into the Energy Storage System Tech Center and are getting the lighting ready for the installation. We're greatly appreciative to all of our generous donors who have made this project possible. To create the most benefit from this installation, we're developing a new Solar Plus storage course to share with you the step-by-step -step process of implementing this cutting-edge solar technology. Enjoy the sneak peek and thank you for being part of the Midwest Renewable Energy Association. We're here at the Midwest Renewable Energy Association working on our Solar Plus storage project. Today I want to explain and demonstrate how to install an S5 clamp. Things that we could there we go, you heard the clip, that one's torqued. So we've got our angle built, we've got our L feet on there. Just get it loose, and then we got our T-bolt, goes through the L foot and into the channel here. And then I always like to give it a little wiggle as I'm tightening it. Then we can move on to the next step. We've got a little gap here. This one needs to go up. And so we measure between the two ribs on the pan. You're really going to realize that once you start trying to get modules in place and keeping them straight. All right, well, let's get to it. 